Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alexander and today we continue to explore the general settings of CS Card. Let's begin! To access general settings in the admin panel, go to Settings – General. In the previous video we reviewed some of the basic CS Card settings and now it's time to speak about catalog settings and promotions. The first setting in the catalog section is Enable Inventory Tracking. Simply speaking, the inventory tracks the quantity of your products. At the Products page, there is a column where the number of available products is displayed. When a customer creates an order, the inventory tracking system deducts the number of purchased products from the general quantity. So, when somebody buys or returns a product, the quantity will change accordingly. Let's continue. The next setting allows customers to compare products. Let's see how it works. A customer picks a product and then simply adds it to the comparison list, then another one, and after that a customer compares several products on a separate page. Customers can compare features, prices and design of the products. Allow negative amount in inventory is the next setting. If this setting is enabled, customers will be able to order products that are actually out of stock. Let's set the quantity of one of the products to zero. Then we go to the storefront, find this product, and as you can see, we are still able to order it despite the zero quantity. The next two settings, Enable Selling Downloadable Products and Download Key TTL, are closely related. Tick the box to start selling digital products such as films, books and video games. And use the second setting to set for how long the download key is valid. By the way, to make keys last infinitely, leave this field empty. Low Stock Notification Threshold The number in this field defines when a store administrator gets a warning notification about low stock. Let's have a look at the example. First, we raise the threshold up to 5. Then find a product that is running low and order this product to cross the threshold. After the order is placed, the order department receives two notifications. About the order and a low stock notification that reminds us to replenish our supplies. Show products from subcategories of the selected category. If the setting is enabled, all products assigned to subcategories are displayed at the main category page on the storefront. Otherwise, the products are displayed only on subcategory pages. Then there is a setting called Display Modifiers for Product Options. This requires some clarification. Options are additional features or accessories that go together with the main product. Colors and sizes, games that come in a bundle or additional gamepads – all these are options, and modifiers are their numeric values. Here's an example. When buying this Blu-ray player, you can choose from four options. Three of them add a DVD to your player, and these are modifiers that show us the price of a film. Be careful that disabling this setting does not mean that modifiers will not be applied. It just means that they will not be displayed. Exception style defines how some unavailable product combinations are displayed at the storefront. Hide exception completely hides a combination from a product's page. And show warning on exception warns customers that a chosen combination is not available. The last one here is show out-of-stock products. You can either display or hide products that are not available at the moment. The next small section is Promotions. This one speaks for itself. It is called Allow customers to use single discount coupon only. If it is enabled, you will prevent customers from gathering lots of discounts and then buying something with a really big discount. For now, we have three types of discount coupons. Two of them can be applied when buying a TV set. So, we go to the storefront and add a TV set to the cart. Then we apply one of the codes and receive a free shipping. After that, we decide to use another coupon, apply it, and due to the setting, the second discount replaces the first one. That's how it works. That's it for today. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Discord video tutorials.